Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And today we are here once more with Nova as he goes to search for a mate. Now, last time we did get his 750 experience points, I believe. Uh, let's just check on that real fast to make sure. And, um, yes we did. We have 760 now. So, um, we do have enough experience points to be able to find him a mate. So I think we're going to go ahead and just poke around at the territories over here. Uh, his sister Andromeda has actually already found a mate, so hopefully we'll be we will be able to find him a mate in this episode. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna poke around at the Amethyst Mountain territory first off, and then if that doesn't work, I think we'll probably honestly head down to the Druid Pack because, uh, for one thing, I don't think Nova is all that experienced with the Druids. He doesn't really know about the the uh, the story element that we have where there's a feud and oh here we go here's a coyote and if we kill this coyote we can get a point except I have to let him regain his stamina <laughs> dang it your stamina is so low Nova um that is the price of having him be as fast as he is because when he moves he can really move but um he can't do it for very long he has very low stamina uh but here we go we got a coyote um I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> um, he doesn't really know about that ongoing feud with the druids. There we go. And remember, that feud is mo much more of a story element. It's not necessarily a realistic thing because wolves don't really have pack feuds. Now, packs don't normally really get along either. They tend to be um, pretty aggressive towards, or at least not aggressive, but like they'll chase each other out of their territories, even if they're not outrightly fighting all the time. They tend to not like each other in each other's territories, and so they do defend their territory quite, um, quite fiercely sometimes, and they, you know, wolves generally know to stay out of each other's territories, but in our story we've had some of the issues with the druid pack and them attacking us, that we're gonna go ahead and, we're, we're saying that there's unusually tense relations between them, and, uh, who is this? Specimen male. I think he'd kind of wait and see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> this is the very, very, very submissive one that lives up here. I think he'd just kind of, he'd kind of just hang out and just be like, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I think he tends to be more aggressive, but I mean, right now he's, okay, so we are, it did give us the pop-up. So right now he's looking for a mate. So I, I feel like he <laughs> would probably be in a less aggressive mood <laughs> than in, um, than he would be normally. A lot of the time he's always trying to challenge the packs, but I think at this point he would kind of be trying to, possibly a little bit nervous at the prospect of finding a potential mate so that even when confronted with uh, a wolf from another pack, he'd kind of be a little bit more chill about things. <laughs> um, there's a fox. Hmm. Now, if we could actually catch this fox, that'd be 10 points. But I don't even know if Nova could catch a fox. Uh, he doesn't have the stamina for it. And like, I don't- I don't really want to kill the fox, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I really don't want to kill the fox. I like foxes. And in this game, they're one of the few things that is, uh, not out to directly hurt your puppies. You know, I think we're gonna leave the fox be, because he's not catching it, and we just found wolf scent trails. I think those would take precedence over chasing down a fox. And I think... I think we might actually have to go this way. Yeah, it looks like they're converging this way. Yep, they're converging, definitely. Alright, let's see. So who do we have here? Okay. We have- is it you again? Yes! Oh. <laughs> I think- honestly, I think Nova wouldn't be too concerned about bossing this guy around, because he knows this guy is not going to bug him. He'll just kind of stand there and be like, okay, dude. <laughs> um, he's definitely not in as um, aggressive and hyperactive mood as he normally is. I think he, I feel like he's trying to be a little bit calmer, although he probably is quite nervous because he knows he's come to seek a mate. So I, I don't think he would give that guy too much of a hard time because he, he's in a relatively good mood at the moment. Um, and not feeling super duper aggressive. So if we bump into another pack wolf up here, I, I think we're gonna actually head back down and probably poke around druid territory <laughs> now. <laughs> um, Nova doesn't really go know what's going on with 
the Druid pack at all. Uh, he he really wasn't involved in that. Uh, his mother wasn't involved in that. Uh, Kaya really didn't know what was a specimen female. Um, if he stands here... Oh. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get himself in a bit of a tussle here. He oh, that went surprisingly well. <laughs> he's not... I think he's kind of just going to be... A little bit... He he's kind of just going to be like, No, don't get... Don't, don't do this. <laughs> um... He's just gonna kind of be a little bit... He's a little bit more chill at the moment. Um, but, you know, she did snarl at him. <laughs> and at this point, I think he's gonna say, Okay, I'm not really seeing any dispersals around here. He's gonna actually head down. And see if he can find anybody in the Druid territory. Now, of course, he doesn't know it's the Druid territory. <laughs> and he doesn't know how scary the Druid pack can be. But he just knows there's more wolves down there. Oh, there's a bunny. Now, a bunny is not even worth a full point. But, um... It is a nice little snack, because we're hungry, and it will... If we get, an, if we kill enough bunnies, we will start racking up the points. So, um... Also, one thing I don't know if I really explained about the point system is you guys might be wondering, well, how come a coyote is only worth one point and a fox is worth ten? Well, it's because of the way the game mechanics are. So, coyotes will attack your puppies, so... In the course of the game, you're going to end up chasing off quite a few coyotes. But foxes don't, so you'd be going out of your way, out of the normal course of the game, to be able to uh, have to track down a fox and to hunt a fox. So that's basically how it works. So elk and bears and coyotes and cougars and stranger wolves aren't worth a huge amount. They're worth a little bit, though, so it's well worth pursuing them. Um... But stuff like the bull elk or the moose, stuff you don't have to deal with, but you can if you want to, is worth a lot more. And we don't really get points for stranger wolf encounters either. Uh, so we're going to run down here. I had to let his stamina regain a little bit. But, um, so yeah, so a lot of the stuff that you have to kill or chase off normally uh, doesn't reward that many points. It's if you're going beyond what you would normally be doing that you're going to start getting points. So that may be something we have to do. I know you get a lot of points if you do manage to track down and kill a cougar. Uh, not just chase it off, that is, if you actually manage to kill it, because it is possible. Um, it is rather improbable, especially for a lone wolf. Um, oh, here's a bear. The Oh, yes, yes, yes. And the other thing is we definitely want to... Uh, mess, yeah, we want to mess with the bears. Always want to mess with the bears because bears are important for Nova in more ways than one. So not only do bears give him two points, but every time he kills a bear, it gets added to his total. Or not kills a bear, excuse me. He chases off a bear. Um, it gets added to his total. And when he's chased off at least five bears, if he dies to a bear, he can say he's learned enough about them to have been able to avoid the fatal blow. So that is a very beneficial thing for him because it will enable him to be a lot more potentially aggressive in defending his puppies without having to worry about so many of the potentially disastrous consequences. I guess, where is the... Oh, okay. Oh, we got... Okay, I know where we are. I got a little confused as to where we are, uh, but I know where we are now. Um, but so if we run across a bear, we definitely want to chase it off because not only does it give us two points, because bears are a little bit harder to chase, to be fair. So we definitely want to, or we get we get an extra point for them. We don't we get two points instead of just the one. But um, we definitely want to add on to that total of the predators he's chased off. And the same thing for cougars. Cougars also don't give that many points, but they give more than just a coyote. And um, they also, if he adds, if he gets five cougars, oops, let's get this bunny. We'll get the bunny before we go uh, deal with the wolf. Oh, except his stamina's down, <laughs> so we have to wait for bunny. <laughs> um, but if we, uh, oh, can we get it? Oh, no, no, I switched out to run mode. Dang it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to eat that now, but we'll have a nice little snack if we do start to get a little bit hungry. Oh, there's somebody here. It's, I've actually, have we seen, I think this is, I think this is the one we've encountered before. He's pretty tough. 
We're gonna try and fight him, but I have a feeling we're not gonna... I have, I have a feeling it's not gonna go over too well. We're not all that strong. We've got 40 strength. And this guy is very strong. And this is actually the same one that Apollo almost took out. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, at this point, I think even Nova's gonna be like, Dude, what the heck is your problem? Um, with all that aggression. Um, so I have a feeling he might just start... Um, avoiding the stranger wolves he is is aggressive and sometimes kind of reckless but he also does know to back out of a fight before he dies <laughs> so um we'll run back up and refill at this carcass and so now he knows those guys down there don't take well to strangers he's still gonna poke around their their territory but he's looking for a mate and not not a pack of wolves that wants to uh potentially kill him <laughs> So, he's definitely looking for a mate, so he's probably going to leave the pack wolves alone and probably try and skirt them a little bit at this point. Let's see if we can find the scent trail again. Here's another scent trail. Or is this the same one we just saw? Nope, there's definitely another wolf here. Nope, this is <laughs> this is the druid female. I think he would recognize her scent and be like, yeah, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, and would probably probably just go on ahead and leave her alone this time. Um, he's probably starting to get a sense for the idea that there's there's a little bit of conflict going on between the packs because man it oh here's a coyote um, the wolves up in the north weren't exactly friendly but the wolves here or I don't know, I actually know if it's north but the wolves on the mountain I don't know if you'd call them friendly but they weren't this aggressive <laughs> um, they definitely were not this aggressive and um yeah i think i think even he would know to leave them alone <laughs> um maybe not stop him from poking around their territory bit but okay there is a wolf here oh it's still her so we have to at least bump into her and then run <laughs> um here we go let's let our stamina recover just a bit and then we'll leave the territory and come back. And if this doesn't work, he'll probably head out to the uh, the Slough territory, which is where his sister had some luck with finding mate. That's actually where Andromeda met Orion. And he does know about that because at the end of the episode, we stopped and we howled to let him know that she's already found a mate. So he's probably kind of figuring he'd better step it up a little bit and be like, okay, yeah, I should stop running around and messing around with the bears and actually take this seriously because winter is on its way and they need to get moving off the mountain okay where are the scent trails um we probably want to be up a little higher in the territory before we start running across like that so it all has to do with the wind direction and the wind direction is very important because it um Okay, we gotta turn around. Uh, it basically those scent trails only appear if you're downwind. Oh, here we go. Here's the scent trail. They only appear if you're uh, downwind, so the wind is blowing towards you. And let's we can slow down a little bit. And let's see. Man, <laughs> the poor guy just hasn't had any luck. He keeps finding only pack wolves. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Um, oh, this is a dispersal female. Hmm. Hmm. She looks similar to Orion. Hmm. You know what, though? <laughs> I think he's nervous. <laughs> I feel like he's nervous, and I think he would kind of try and then panic and bolt. <laughs> Because that's the sort of goof he is. He'd be psyching himself up and being like, "Okay, okay, uh, I'm gonna make a good first impression. I'm going to, I'm gonna be confident." And then he'd get there and just be like, "Yeah, nope," <laughs> and just run for it. <laughs> oh gosh, because that's honestly, he is a lot more hyperactive than Andromeda. Andromeda, both he and Andromeda are kind of reckless and get into trouble, but he is more hyperactive. Whereas she has more of a capacity to be calm. She just tends to still get herself in trouble anyway. Um, he's much more kind of hyper and all over the place and getting into trouble that way. Um, <laughs> so I think he would probably be a little bit nervous, at, especially just this first time. And kind of panic. 
And if we run into that wolf again, I think he would feel very panicky because, um... Okay, who's this? Uh, it's another dispersal female. Hmm. Hmm. She says I'm not sure about this. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just not... I'm just not getting... I think he'd run again, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm just not getting the sort of vibe from these wolves. I think he's going to move on to the slough territory. And um, I really want to try and find him a mate this this episode because Andromeda has already found a mate. And I we probably, we maybe would have her run around on the mountain a little bit. Uh, if that's the case and be like, Nova, what's taking you so long? <laughs> but, um... I just am not getting the vibe from these wolves that I, like, immediately with Orion, I had a good feeling about him. I, and I just felt like he and Andromeda would be a good fit. We're going to actually stop this carcass and just get a little bit of a snack. But I'm just not getting that from these wolves. <laughs> I'm really just not. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but I don't know you. I just, I don't feel like it's the, a good fit and that that's an important thing you know you, you gotta find the right mate <laughs> um if you, you don't you gotta find a mate that's gonna work well i mean and yeah you just you have to find the right mate <laughs> otherwise you're not gonna have as good of a chance of passing on your genetics and it's it's if it doesn't work out then that's gonna be a problem um, if they can't work well together or whatever, that's going to be a problem. Uh, there is, however, a benefit to running around with Nova a little bit more on the, um, on the mountain here. And that is we have more chance of bumping into bears and coyotes and things that could give him points and work towards his, um, his predator goals. Because if we can start out with, before we even have our first litter, we have enough points to rescue him should he die to, um... Should he die to a, um, and I think that was bunny number four. Um, bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Hare's killed four, yeah. So he doesn't have a point from bunnies yet. Bunnies are only, like, five of them make one point. Um, but there is a benefit to running him around on the mountain, which is that if we can get his predator totals up and his points up before we even have a first litter, oop, like this bear, um then that gives him a much better chance of being able to survive. Can we, come on, bear. <laughs> uh, that, that gives him a much better chance of not only being able to survive, but possibly even being able to have his puppies survive more frequently. There we go. That's another bear. Another two points and another bear down towards his total. And I believe that's our third or fourth bear. Um, bears, grizzlies chased off three. So yeah, if he gets two more then he will be able to, um, if he dies to a bear, he'll be able to respawn. And we'll say that's okay. Uh, sometimes there's coyotes that like to hang around by that rock, but apparently not this time. <laughs> the poor bear by that one rock, too. He's always there, and I, I, I know it's just a spawned in bear game mechanics-wise, but I feel like the, there's honestly just like this one bear that lives by this rock and there's just constantly wolves coming to bother him and he's just like, oh no, not again, are you kidding me? There's another one. I, I honestly kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> but um, I, I, yeah, I just feel like there's this one bear that lives there that's always getting badgered by the wolves <laughs> and isn't too pleased about it. Okay, so we want to circle down towards the bottom of the territory. To try and find some of these scent trails. Here we are. And hopefully we'll see if we can have the same look over here as his sister did. Let's see. And hopefully... Okay, do we have a wolf? We have... Who's this? Who is this? Ah, uh, that's a slough male. Um... Oh! He's very submissive. <laughs> There's, like, no in-between for Nova today. There's either wolves that want him dead or wolves that are like, don't hurt me. Um, <laughs> and then, of course, there are the dispersals, which have him absolutely going crazy and being like, why can't I just... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel like he does definitely have a goofy aspect to him where he kind of just isn't good with the social things sometimes. <laughs> Um, I feel like Andromeda definitely is a lot better at that. It, she's probably, they probably bumped into each other and she's just like, brother, you just need to chill out. <laughs> if you keep panicking, <laughs> you are never going to find a mate. <laughs> okay, so we want to go, 
Um, no, we do still want to be on the lower side of the territory. Here we are. Here's another scent trail. And, um... If we don't find a mate this time, or maybe we'll try one more time after that, then I guess we'll just have to run around with them on the mountain a little bit. Maybe we'll have Andromeda try. Ooh, who is this? I want to see her. Hmm. I don't know. You guys? I don't know. She looks like his mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> She looks exactly like his mom. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I don't think it's happening. <laughs> I, I just don't think. I think that would scare him way too much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just honestly do not think. <laughs> that he would want to, to have a wolf that looks exactly like his mom as his baby. I think that would freak him out too badly. <laughs> um, well, we're just gonna try one more time. Oh my gosh. I just am honestly not feeling it for any of these guys. It, I, I just, I feel like at the same time, he's he's not really the sort, like, Andromeda and Orion just hit it off, but I, I feel like he just hasn't yet. I just am not feeling it, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, oh, please, let there be, let there be a wolf that we could potentially take as a mate up here. <laughs> Andromeda is probably very impatient. She's like, dude, dude, how does this take you this long? And he's like, it's an important life decision. Oh, no. It's not even a dispersal female. It, it's just, it's just the same, <laughs> it's the same male from the back here that he ran into before. <laughs> I think he would probably be a little bit annoyed and just be like, No, I'm not looking for you. I don't want to talk to you. We'll, tr we'll go ahead and do tr one last try since this is a pack wolf. But, oh gosh. The poor baby. <laughs> He's trying. Oh gosh. But seriously, you guys. I'm honestly just not feeling it. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm really just not. Um... I feel like he's a lot more insecure than he lets on about when it comes to interactions with other wolves. Which is probably why he's either so aggressive or just like, okay, what, what, just, just go. <laughs> um, I, I just feel like with him there's really no in-between. Um, but we have earned quite a few points and, uh, have, oops. and here, I think, is another point, uh, once we slow down enough and let her stamina recover. Um, but I believe this will be our fifth bunny and that'll be another point. Did we get it? No, we didn't. Um, we did find a scent trail. And let's eat this. And I believe, let's just check a pack stat. So yes, he has gained another point from that. Um, but yeah, I believe <laughs> that, like, I, I just feel like he... <laughs> He's very insecure around other wolves, honestly. I, I do. He tries to put on a bold face. Okay, who do we have? She's very light in color. I don't know. I don't know, you guys, honestly? I know this is taking forever, but and I know we are getting to earn some good points in the middle, which is kind of why I'm okay with allowing it to take longer, but you guys... I just don't feel it. I'm really not. I, I'm really, really not. We may have to get Andromeda over here and have her give her brother a pep talk. Because <laughs> I think he, he's just not. He, he's just... I don't know. I just am not feeling it at all. So this poor deer has spent the entire episode trying to find a mate. <laughs> and he hasn't been able to. But we did. We looked at the pack stats. We did. We killed a couple coyotes. We, ki er, we chased off several bears. We got a point from the hair, so we did earn some points. We did earn quite a bit of experience, um, but we still don't have a mate. <gasps> oh, ooh, we did, however, find. Is it going for? Are you serious? It's. Is it going for our bunny carcass? I don't know where it's going. Oh, it's gonna run. Can we actually catch up to it, Nova? Are you fast enough to catch a cougar? Are you fast enough to catch a cougar? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. I don't know if he has the stamina for it. 
I don't know if he has the stamina for it. Oh, I don't think he has the stamina for it. Oh, darn it, you guys. If we could have gotten this cougar, I'm going to let his, um, his stamina refill, and then we're going to chase it again. Because if we can chase off this cougar, then... Oh, there's a coyote as well. Can we get the cougar? Can we get a bite on the cougar? We're so close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Nope, it's not happening. We'll kill the coyote, though. Um, so where's this coyote? It's not happening, you guys. Um, where'd the coyote go? Now we can't even find that coyote. Oh, here it is. It went this way. We'll, we'll kill this coyote real fast, and then next time we'll be back with Andromeda, who's probably like, brother, seriously, chill out. And maybe we'll have her and her mate um, try and earn a little bit more experience while they're here. Or maybe we could say they'll go ahead and go on to Slough Creek and start getting things set up, but we didn't find him a mate, you guys. <laughs> so we'll be back with him on Friday, and we'll have to try again. <laughs> um, and hopefully he will be able to kind of just chill out, because you guys, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm really just not feeling it for him with any of the, the dispersal females we've run into so far. I, I feel like they were probably very either very shy or very friendly and for some reason that just freaked him out so we'll have to see next time if he can be calm and hold his ground but um yeah we haven't found him yet <laughs> so i will see you guys next time but until then <laughs> this is jay over and out